Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins where we kind of left off at like, oh, it was a good moment to leave off, we kind of had cut to black and I was like this feels like a good place to stop. But we're about to head into like what's been I think three days of war in Egypt, so buckle up, it's going to be exciting, I'll be with you in a moment. It was definitely a lot of stuff I did not expect. Completely silent. The yeah, too. this is not good. Uh, some sort of plague has hit the what? village. That viper Flavius did this. People are writhing on the ground. Long before now. Let us get to the boat. How are they? They're how are they silent and yet flailing? Did they like put a? Po I feel like they put a poison in the air. Then we should be careful. Roman soldiers. Must be Flavius' men. Should we just ignore them or what? I feel like we should kind of just Take ignore them. Take those down! Oh, nope. Okay, I wasn't sure. Wow, that was really unfair that you did that. Ow, 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 ow. Can I just run away? Whoa. Oh, chain throw! Okay, good! It worked! Okay, good. I was just pressing RB. I was like, please! Save my bacon. Okay, anyway. Uh, I mean, I want to stop and help, but there's nothing. If the entire village is like down, then there's nothing we can do. But, like, how did they get the entire village? There has to be some people. We lost our horses, too. I don't know where they went. All the flamingos. Can I just, like, just cut through? Siwa! No! The vault, I don't think I ever revisited the vault, but the vault is where uh, we, our son died. I don't think we ever actually revisited it. I think just in cutscene. Like in the flashback. Oh my gosh, this is stressful. I lost my horse really quickly though, so I'm just running. Not that it's like terribly much faster, but it feels a little it more was like. Flavius all along. He brought Caesar and the Romans here, hoping to take complete power. Who is? We trusted him. We were we fools. Did. We only met him like once. I don't know what you're talking about. Like we only saw him in like vague detail. Should we just like uh, go over the wall here? Maybe. Aya. Yeah. Like, I don't think we even shook hands with him, maybe once. Oh yeah, I'm just going in the side door. Like, I don't wanna mess with those guards, let's go. Come up here. We don't need to, uh... We don't need to mess with those guys at the front gate. I hope, anyway. Yeah, are you... Are you gonna... Where is she? Like, she should light up in blue, right? Oops. There's absolutely no reason for us to go through there. And we can just go through here. I hope I don't, like, miss any dialogue or anything. There's like no guards in here though. Oh, that's because everybody's everybody's sick. Ah, oh, yeah, you scared the crap out of me. We have to go underground somewhere. 
Okay, we have to go in this building. Okay, this building is covered in people. Wait, this is the... Oh, never mind. Okay, but we can get in from this rooftop here. I think. Are they all Egyptian? And then none of the Roman soldiers are affected? Oh, jeez. It's like, hopefully I can climb on these walls. I don't think they put anybody up here. Okay. Oh, crap. Um, it's a more of a general thing. Okay, well, usually you show me where there's... What's with the frames? Jeez. Usually it shows me if there's a downstairs way. Am I just supposed to, like, land on the floor? I don't know where to go. This is... This is... I don't know. Is, is this a tunnel? That's not a tunnel. That's whatever's underground. And there's gonna be... There's gonna be mojo... Bad, bad juju things going on down there. Where's the freaking basement? By order of Flavio... No one, and I mean no one, is to enter. Oh, oh. Okay, so it's over there. All right, thank you. I drop through this other one then. Maybe. Oh, crap. Nope. Okay, I've already dropped. I've committed to this. Oh, wait. Oh, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. What in the name of Hades are we protecting you? Gold? Gemstone? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I have... I only have two! No! I only have one, I mean. No! See, now it would be useful! The milk of Aphrodite herself. Danger lies there. Speak out, queen. Oh, you didn't even notice! That's cool, that's right! All right. Downstairs. Thank you, guards, for yelling. Maybe I'll just blend in with everybody else, except you're not writhing around in pain. Wow, there's people even down here? What the frick? Bayek, there's trouble ahead. Yeah. No, no, no. Not fair. You didn't notice last time. The other guy didn't notice, and he was like, this guy was like purposefully behind the other one a little bit. You know? So I thought it would be easier to assassinate him. The other guy was right next to the other guy, and I assassinated him with nobody knowing. Whoa! The vault is opening. Run for cover. What? Look, the vault. They are frightened of the opening door. They're running. Where? We don't know what's in oh, there. unless it we was the guards that I killed. Happened. I think it was the guards I killed that were supposed to have lines. Oopsie. What are they using for their weird blood rituals? Woo! Are you dreaming? Woo! We have entered the duet. Who could imagine such a land as this? No man should approach this close to the gods. Oh, whoa. So they've already activated the orb? Who created this? The gods themselves? Here's the story of mankind. Bayek. Bayek. What? <gasps> no! 
He was our friend from the beginning. Oh, life is done here in the desert dust. They took my closest friend. We must rush to stop Flavius. No! We cannot leave him here. He deserves a proper farewell. Why is he dead? Like, what happened? Go ahead, what? Bayek. I'm with you. Epsifa knew nothing of the order. There was no cause for him to be killed. Yeah, unless he was Flavius protesting out them. his heart as a message to me. Wait, his heart's ripped out? It was out? he who killed Remu. My husband. We will end this. I didn't see blood on his chest. I didn't see how he died at all. I thought maybe it was just from the... Wait, are you guys survivors? She's the healer woman. I saw what happened. It was horrible. Oh, God. The Roman leaders entered the temple vault. Septimius and Flavius. The objects they carried opened it as if by a god's hand. And so that tried to stop them. But they rendered me helpless. Need a blood sacrifice for this stuff to work. A blue fire seemed to emerge. I fled to no avail. The entire village lost its reason and fell to the ground like dogs. Oh. They have destroyed Siwa. We must die. You must put an end to this. Bayek, Aya. You have the prayers of the entire village to support you. Let us bring Hepzibah to his rest. Then we will seek justice. We're really, uh, I mean, I get it that, like, afterlife rituals are very important, but we've left a lot of bodies along the way, but, I mean, this is, they weren't his best friend, but still, it's like, if you want this to end, we need to, we need to finish this now, like, giving, they've already gotten in there, Let like. Let the embalmers come. We pray Anubis accept this ornament in place of his heart. But his chest wasn't ripped Hepzibah open. May walk free in the field of reeds. Epsifa, old friend. And they have to weigh the heart. So if he doesn't have a heart, then if you're missing pieces of your body in in a Egyptian myth uh, religion, then you you don't you don't get to go to the happy place. Epsifa, where are you now, my friend? Walking in the field of reeds? I hope so. I hope I hope whatever they put in place of his heart is sufficient. I don't know, if we find the heart, maybe that'll be good. Maybe we can give him back his heart. I don't know if that's a thing. Hepzibah would have wanted you to have this. The weapon he prized above all others. I am honored. Ooh. It's a regular sword, but it's legendary. Too bad I spent a lot of money on my other one, but that's all right if this is going to be... What does it do? On fire, a mysterious weapon with unique att attributes. Whispers of its magical properties have spread to the bounds of the known world. So I don't get health on hit, but uh, I get health for critical. But I get to light things on fire, and it would only be fitting to use Epsiva's blade. He was the one who helped us get out of that first situation at the very beginning of the game. Bro. Oh. Man. I'm glad the villagers are back up, though. Like, upright. Wait, am I? They're like a tongue? Um. Oh, there is. There's a door. I was like, I was trying to go around. This is our son. Yeah, as I say, I, I recognize this because it also it says that we look we we like got the treasure from the area. She looks sad. Some villagers captured a Roman soldier and questioned him. Flavius is headed for Cyrene, and Septimius for Alexandria. 
I will kill Flavius. There's a farm at the border of Cyrene. Someone there may have seen Flavius pass through. As for me, I will cut out the heart of Septimius. I feel as though wherever we go, tragedy follows. Perhaps we should come to terms. It is hard. I don't want to let go, but... Every time I think of you, I think of Hemu and everything we lost. Me too. So for now, we kill. Farewell, Aya. I feel like, I don't know, I'm, I'm hoping that we can maintain this sort of, like, balance that Aya and I seem to have achieved in some way. But I worry that our, our revenge may make it so that we, we don't look at each other with happiness ever, we look at each other with only sorrow, you know, and regret. And that's something that tears people apart in real life, is when, like, a child has died, and that all they can do is look at their partner and see their child, the thing that they lost, you know? So far, we seem to have overcome that, and we're a power couple, and things seem to be going well, but they just said, you know, it's like, I don't know, it's like, are, will they ever be done? Like, he, Bayek just said, he's never said that before, but that maybe we should come to terms with what we've lost. But, like, at the same time, he sort of started up this revolution, even though it was done very quickly in a cutscene, where it's like, yeah, the Brotherhood, everybody to get, <laughs> excuse me, together, you know? And, I don't know, it just seems a bit... This whole section feels a little bit rushed, but I get it. It feels like kind of endgame stuff. But I'm worried about, <laughs> if, of all things, I'm worried about Bayek and Aya's relationship. I've come to visit, son. Just for a moment. Yeah. I, I do like the detail that she looks sad. I mean, she looks angry there, too, for a second. I think her face is trying to go through normal um, animations. But it's, for now, it's stuck in sort of the sad mode. So then she looked angry. Huh? Man. Oh, I am so sorry, you guys. It's not my fault. It's honestly not. Well, let's see if I can... Oh, shoot. So now I'm out of that Alex... I'm, I'm out of the locked Alexandria thing, and I could keep going, I guess. Oh, I'm so mad. Strong, imposing, and athletic, Septimius is the model of the Roman legionary. Serving with Pompey during his war against the Pirates in 67 BCE, he was in stationed in Alexandria, where he became enamored of his with his adopted country of Egypt. Now he and the Gabiniani are tasked with protecting the royal family. What do you mean he became enamored of his adopted country? Flavius! Unless there's somebody here. I feel like once we kill Flavius, there might be somebody here who's like the center of it all, you know? I don't know. Defined by his ruthless ambition, the pro proconsul of the province of Kyriniaca is a brutally efficient soldier with a distinguished military career, which is why Julius Caesar considers him one of the most powerful allies of ever. However, Flavius has his own agenda and is prepared to go to any lengths to cement his influence in Rome. Jeez. Jeez, people. Oh yeah, I was gonna look and see fast traveling. This is... This did not go the way. I was fully expecting Apollodorus Apoll 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 was in the perfect position to betray us, and he didn't. He actually gave his life to helping us. And wow, dang it, of course, it's in the middle of an area that I have, like, very little reason to go to. All right, time for a horsey ride. Come along, horsey. We ride to justice, vengeance, rather. We ride for vengeance. You better take me this way. Whoa. What? Oh, this is just follow road. Right. Go to objective. Okay. We good? Okay. I don't know. There's a lot of things have happened, and I'm a little bit like, woo! Like it's just. We have Bayek maybe coming to terms with things, but at the same time, like, I feel like now things are getting to the point where him, like, him and Aya have never been able to really back out of this, but, like, they keep feeling like they're getting closer and closer to vengeance and then only to have it snatched out of their hands, especially after the thing with Cleopatra, which I do understand, like, she had to make concessions. But I don't know why Julius Caesar, Caesar kept Septimius around when Septimius is literally the one who started the revolution. Why is Septimius still around? That makes zero sense. Are we just gonna have 
little chats about Flavius the whole way there. Like, he can't be that influential or advantageous to have at your side when he's literally the one that caused, like, a mini-revolution. I don't understand. And maybe Cleopatra isn't exactly doing what she wants to do. Maybe neither is Julius Caesar. Maybe they're being puppet-controlled a little bit. Or maybe they're doing it willingly. I don't know. There's a lot of questions still right now. And maybe they won't get answered. Maybe it's just like the, something where like maybe the game, like I haven't really, I haven't read any reviews about this game. Oh, a lion. Oh, crap. Um, but just that, or I, I don't, I don't know if there was something said in the game about like the end game sort of being major rushed with like plot holes. Like, I don't know. But at least the, just the ending, you know? Where we just, well, we almost, we basically killed two people, and then Septimius was like, JK, still alive, hey, hey, hey. And Caesar was like, let me kill that other guy. He's like, he doesn't need Roman justice, apparently, but Septimius needed Roman Legis justice. Will not guys... stop until he reaches Rome. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing my very Man, bestest. I, I just, no, I'm not interested. Whoa! Refugee, refugees. From, this is a whole area I haven't been to. Wow, they've got manicured gardens. A lush land of pastures and fields, trampled on by Roman occupation. This must be the farm. We uh. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. Uh, is anybody alive? Oh. I don't know if those were bodies. Uh, nobody looks very pleased. Uh, what the frick are you? Are you like doing sacrifices? Stop, Menaruka! I beg you! Why are you gonna kill him like that? Whoa. Find my sacred oath. Forgive me! What? She's freeing slaves? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. I am not your enemy. What sacred oath? Lady, what's going on? Why is that guy killing? Slaves and they were just laying there waiting to be killed. I am sorry. It is just he was such a gentle soul. Once had me treat a wounded dog he had caught in a snare. Why would he do this? I have seen the this man before. who killed Lucifer. people. I'm looking for the sole leader responsible, Flavius. The proconsul? That sack of rancid god shit murdered my son, raised my village. And now marches through your land with the light of a Amunra. Uh-oh. Come. That's right. Let us search the farm. Look for survivors. I am Bayakosiwa. Praxila. Of this land gone mad. So everywhere they go with the... Why would Flavius do this? They are just poor C1 farmers. They stood in his path. So everywhere they go... With that... With that that light that uh that that what's it called 
the mask thing, no, the, the scepter, the scepter with the with the orb on it, that did something weird to the Siwans that like made them fall sick, and it's just making everybody act really weird, I guess. Here, making them like kill people. Ooh. Crap, I'm trying to. Oh, I can't. Why can't I ever sneak up on people properly? Hang on. Look for survivors. Maybe they are hiding. Hey. Let me try to be an assassin, please. Oh. Yeah, shh. See if we can't, like... Okay, maybe this guy. Maybe he'll walk past. They seem to be just kind of going back and forth. Oh, good. She went to a different bush. Don't call their attention. I'll be very upset. Oh my gosh. Did they see her? <laughs> he saw me, apparently. Oh ho. A nice shield. Oh no. Oops, I need to. How do I refill my stuff? Yeah, 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 come here. Come here, shield boy. It's sometimes I'm kind of worried about the timing on that, whether or not I should be holding. Like, I think holding Y down lets you kind of preemptively. Um. Get ready to assassinate him, essentially, you know? Like, you, you, you basically ready your action. Oh, crap. Okay, well, here we go. I killed most of them. Wow, this, this sword does a lot of damage. Also, it lights them on fire. And, wow. We are angry. Oh, my. Very angry. Let's see. Crap, I need... Also, have you guys- YES! Arrows! I'm like, if you could give me arrows, I'd really appreciate it! Oh, are you guys in the building? Or- Oh, hello! Hello! I'm sorry, I came up on the- Yeah, this was not- I was not supposed to go up Lynette? over the rail. Are you alright? What happened here? Red cloaks and that mix up with the lion's head. Took anyone who could work. Farm hands, my son, Kade. Everyone! She's Did blind! He killed. Dark eyes hooded as a raven. I wanted to throw stones to shoo him off. Something She's blind now. Right in his claws. Held it up, crowing as they fell before him. Some by their own hands, others by those dearest to them. Against nature, everyone crying, screaming, running, dying. How did you ask? No one sees poor minute. An old woman's husk with clouded eyes. Oh. But I saw them. Didn't cry out. Bit my tongue till I choked on the blood. The men who did this, we will find them. Better hurry, girl. Raven flew north to the home of the huntress. Overheard red cloak squawking. Bring Kade back to me. I will try. Flavius also robbed me of my boy. Let us bring Nenet to my cart. Will you follow Flavius? I must. Yeah, at this point, yeah, it's like we don't even really have a choice anymore. Nobody, so they, so not only did they like pass out, everybody like started killing each other, like going against their very natures. But the whole time they're like aware maybe and like screaming about it. Like, oh my gosh, this is a terrible power. This is a terrible power. Oh my gosh. Like, I don't, I only ever see these, these like precursor things being used for ill. But I feel like they should have, like, good. Like, they should be able to, like, heal people or something. But uh, they just, they only ever use them for ill. And it's, like, really depressing. <laughs> That's because good people wouldn't use it to manipulate people. 
like their minds whereas bad like even to make people more like you know willing to work together or whatever but the bad people just use it to like they're like yeah i don't want to bring a better world by killing off like half the population is apparently they're basically all fantasies is what they are they're all just mini fantasies fantasies and it's really really terrible <laughs> anyway thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate it i'm trying to get this done this game, like, I just want to get that. I want to get the main story done at this point. There's too much going on for me to back away now. So thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.